Okay, so you guys have asked for a tour of the yard, and I'm going to give you one. I'm out here. It's like 7.30 in the morning. I'm like, oh, look, bunny. We have a bunny. We have lots of bunnies around here. Like, tons. So far, they haven't eaten anything, though. In the garden, that is. So, this is a green thing. And it has flowers. I think it's some sort of, I don't know, lily, iris, something. And uh, again, I have no idea what this is. I call it a celery plant because it sort of looks like celery leaves. But it's not a celery plant and they grow all over the yard. It's probably a weed. But it's pretty. And, and this is um, an orange plant of some kind. I don't know. I, had a tag when I bought it, and I said, oh, I won't forget what that is. I've forgotten. And... Wow, I need to deadhead this. When it all had flowers on it, it was, like, gorgeous. So I think I need to sit out here and pick some dead flowers off. Maybe it'll bloom again. This one is blooming again. Or maybe it's done blooming now. I don't know. This is the same thing as that one. But the flowers have finished on it now. That's a bush. Um, and then back there, that's a clematis, I think. And all along this fence here, you see that plant right there? Like this, this plant, this, this plant right there? That's a raspberry. And we're going to peek through my neighbor's yard here. Because if you, if you can... If you can, if I can, aha, uh -huh. see back there, those are all raspberries. He's got like this humongous raspberry patch. And of course they've started coming through the fence. So I'm letting them because then I can have a humongous raspberry patch too. And that's my hummingbird feeder that so far not a single hummingbird has come to. Not sure how you tell them we're here. And that big ferny thing is asparagus and asparagus season is over in Regina you can't pick asparagus past June 1st because it takes that long for the plant to get back but it'll come back that is a cucumber that's I don't think gonna make it I'm not totally giving up on him because he's got little leaves coming in again right in the middle but he kind of froze but that's okay because where those rocks are I'm actually going to take those out and build a retaining wall so I can make this side much deeper with dirt and have proper vegetable garden back here that's my lighthouse and it's solar powered so it actually lights up at night it's pretty cool actually it's made of plant pots this is another bush thing that's going to have some pretty flowers on it in a bit, hopefully. And I stuck marigolds all over the place because they had a really good sale on marigolds and I bought way too many. And that little bush in the back, I don't know if you see, it's got some little yellow flowers left on it. A couple days ago it was brilliant with flowers. And that in there, that's a tomato. And that's a marigold. And that's another tomato. And you can see they've got some flowers on them. So that's cool. We're actually going to have tomatoes. And I know it looks like a mess in here. But in two weeks, it's just going to be brilliant with flowers. That's a wildflower mix that I made. And wow, they're growing. So nice. That's a little bit of lavender. And I'm hoping it's going to spread so that next year I'll have a lot of lavender. That's another tomato. And there's another tomato back there. And this is my zucchini. And it's actually flowering. So I might have a zucchini. That'd be cool. And that's another irisy thing. See, the problem is when there was some perennials in here when we bought the place and I'm not entirely sure what they are yet. We'll get there.
This, I'm hoping, is an ornamental plum, but I might be wrong. Um, we'll see when it gets bigger. And there is another cucumber. These are my, some of my lilac trees. They're, they all bloom at different times. So this one is sort of a light pinky one. This one was a bright, bright purple. And so were those ones back there, bright, bright purple. You can see there's still a couple, couple flowers left on them. Most of those are done now. I'm not sure what this is. I think it might be a yarrow, maybe. And over there is my fairly disappointing wave petunias. My hope was they were just all going to cascade down and make like a column of petunias, but eh, I don't know if it's going to make it. Still early. We'll see. There's Dad's fountain. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to make you all dizzy. Hang on. Just plugging in. So Dad's got this really cool fountain here and the birds love it they come out and they have a little bath in it and they play in it and he faithfully turns it on every single day oh i should show you over here um oh, never mind never mind it's not there okay so here we are back at the fountain Lovely. Okay. Moving on to the backyard. These are peonies. This one is going to bloom very, very soon. And these ones are sort of done blooming. Maybe they bloom twice. I don't know if they do or not. Uh, again, I have a whole bunch of little marigolds stuck here there and everywhere these are lilies that are close close to blooming another couple days maybe that one in the back he's actually it's actually looking pretty good they look like yours sophie they're great big orange ones they're pretty and more marigolds and now this is sort of into the gardeny more like vegetable garden more although I have lilies all over the place that was supposed to be a zucchini as well he refuses to die but he refuses to grow so I don't know and that's Swiss chard I have a few of those dotted around and they're actually growing pretty good over here so this might be Swiss chard land. And then over here is a raspberry patch that I've planted, but we're not eating out of this year. This year, the birds can harvest if they want, but for the most part, I'm just letting them get established. And hopefully they'll start sending out some runners. And then this whole area back here will become raspberry. See, there's the side of our house, so this whole area. Over on this side, this is the future home of my garden shed. Mm, not quite there yet. And then back behind here, I have a volunteer hostess. I'm not sure why he decided to grow there, but I'm going to let him grow. And hopefully he will spread all through here. Lovely, 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 lovely hostess. Although this is also the area I want to try and make into a raspberry patch. So we'll see. And over here I have another type of hostess. And I don't know what that other thing is. I think it might be a hostess too, but it might be a different kind. I don't know. Back here on this stony patch, this is going to be where my greenhouse goes. Here I have a few container plants. 
This one is peas. And this one is peas. And I planted them just before I went to Minnesota a week ago. And I can see there's a pea popping up already. So that's pretty good. These are beans. And I'm pretty sure that's a bean. And I'm pretty sure those are beans. And they will climb up these lovely poles and we will have beans. This is another one of those celery plants. But this one didn't didn't bloom. So, I don't know. I don't know what the hell they are. We'll figure it out. This, this is my grape. And it's, I chopped it all down because it was growing all over the side of the house. And... You can see up there, that stick, it's sticking out way at the top. Maybe I, can, maybe I can get a better view of that. Hang on. Yeah, that. There, that, that. Was where the top of it was, and it's actually growing into the house. So, it had to come down. And I might have been a little too aggressive, because I don't think it's going to come back. We'll see. We'll give it another year. If it shows up with a green sprout, great. If not, out it goes. And I'll plant something else here. I don't know what. This is my jungle. This is all... Hey, here's another one of those lilacs, only this one's pretty white. And these are all lilacs as well, ranging in color from white to purple to pink. And this is all lilac in here. So I'm hoping what I can do is just turn this into sort of a lilac hedge. I'm going to try and keep them down, except for the tall ones that are already there. But these other ones, I'll keep them cut at the top of the fence level. And that will give us some privacy from our neighbors. Nice neighbors, but, you know, you want privacy. These are some more lilies, I think, that are going to grow. Maybe those are irises, actually. Now that I think about it, those could be irises. That's my Virginia creeper that... He's struggling, but he's found a little grow spot there, and he's found his way to the fence. So, maybe he'll do some ground cover here on the rocks, I hope so. Here's another one of my little lilac plants that's actually got a few flowers on him, so that's good. Here's some more of these other ones. See, they're almost past the growing season. I should have done this last weekend. I think they're much prettier for you, but... Anyway, these are all sort of little white plants and I need to come out here when they're done flowering and sort of chop them down because the same thing I want to sort of make them into kind of a hedgy thing there's dad's cement pad he's so proud of that he did a good job and over here some more marigolds that I'm hoping will just sort of spread out everywhere and then my hostess garden which is growing great guns so I'll be able to take some of those out and transplant them into different spots. Um, this one, this guy right there, that's a hollyhock. And so is that one. Not sure where they came from. They just sort of volunteered themselves. So, fine. They can live. Um, and that's a Japanese something something plant. And it's pretty when it flowers. Very pretty. This is huh, deck construction. Da, 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 da. Again, Dad's doing an awesome job over there. So now we go to this gate. To the front yard. Close the gate. Otherwise, I'll have to clean it. That's my neighbors. There's some really nice ones too. Might have to borrow some. Um more construction going on. This is that plant I hate a lot. Flower's nice though and it I know it looks really scraggly. It needs a massive haircut. I didn't get to this spot last year so that'll be this year's project is this corner. Over here more of Dad's construction going on. Again, this plant is just like that one. And they're ugly as sin. So, 
we're getting rid of them. I haven't done too much with this over here because it's all getting changed. You see how the bricks are all sort of haphazard and different levels and everything else. Dad's fixing all of that. So I'm not even going to touch this, but eventually this will be farther out. There will be actual dirt in it and I'll plant some more things. But there are a few volunteer plants showing up here. Like That's a tulip. And there's another one somewhere over here. Lots of weeds though, I can see that too. That is a flower. I don't know what kind. And here's some more lilies. But these ones aren't doing as well as the ones in the back. And I'm not entirely sure why. But they did sort of multiply like crazy this year. This is a little hedgy thing that I need to decide if I'm keeping or not. I might keep it, but just at a very small set like this. At one point in time, that one was the size of that one over there. And last year I went crazy and chopped it all out. And of course, more marigolds. Over here are some pansies that some of them, like that one, is a little volunteer. And there's a few more back there that are volunteer. Some of them I planted. Those ones I planted. Um, those are peppers. And they're growing pretty good. And there's the first set of peas that I planted. And they're sort of growing up along the fence. So another couple weeks I might be okay. Ah, oh, my cucumber. This is my poor cucumber. And he was doing really good. And then all of a sudden he wasn't. And now he's very dead. But the neighborhood cats are terrified of the cucumber itself. So even though it's close to the point where it's going to rot away into nothing, I'm leaving it there because they stay out of my my garden beds. As long as the cucumber's there for protection. So he's like a guard cumber. And there's some more little pansies and flowers and things. This bed is horrible soil and it needs to be redone. And I think actually where that cucumber is, I'm going to put a little water feature, but we'll see what happens. And another lone pepper. There was three peppers there and three peppers there, but now there's only one pepper here. So my other peppers are kids up, I guess. My window boxes of, again, marigolds. Yeah, went a little crazy on the marigolds this year. More marigolds, more marigolds. The, these two boxes were the last of the marigolds I had left to plant and I was so tired of planting marigolds I just threw them all in boxes and said there live done but they actually turned out pretty good like they look okay so I'm pretty happy with that and then over here here's the last of the window boxes I had planted I tried to put marigolds beside every door that we have because marigolds actually repel mosquitoes so it helps keep them away from the doors. So when we're going in and out, we don't have any. But I see I need to get over here and pick off, pick off some flowers. But and there we are, back at the fountain. So, dun da da da. There is our summer garden.